Hey everyone, happy Monday. We're getting ready to read The Caribbean Dream by Rachel Isadora. And while we're reading this, I want you to think about how living in the Caribbean would be different than where you live, or maybe the same. Also pay attention to the colors in the book. We've been noticing that illustrators sometimes do something for colors to make you feel something or to demonstrate what time it is. So here we go. The Caribbean dream. Look at that nice picture right there. That does look like the Caribbean. And here we have a little poem to start. I remember a far tall island floating in cobalt paint. The thought of it is a childhood dream. Now remember, not all poems have to rhyme. There might be a word here that you need to clarify. Can you point to the word that you need to clarify? Let me read it again. I remember a far tall island floating in cobalt paint. The thought of it is a childhood dream. Did you touch cobalt? Yeah, cobalt is a color, it's a blue shade. Where morning meets light, we rise. Where friends meet friends, we smile. You do that when you meet a friend, you smile. Where sound meets color, we hide. So this picture might look a little bit different. Looks like they're at some type of market. We go grocery shopping at the grocery store. They might go to the market outside. We have a couple of these though. Are you seeing a pattern happening with this text? Pay attention, here we go. Where waves meet sand, we swim. Where sun meets water, we fish. So do you see the pattern now? It always starts with where meets we. That's all the same. Look at how they're fishing though. It looks different than the way we fish. They have like a little stick, almost like a spear. Where sea meets sky, we sail. Where wind meets hill, we run. Where rain meets earth, we splash. I like this poem part right here. Where rain meets earth, we splash. So it means when the rain hits the ground, it makes a puddle, and we can splash in it. Give me a connection. Show me a connection if you have done this before. I knew you did. Where music meets hearts, we sing. Mrs. Garrett would like this one. Look at how they're dressed, though. Do we dress that way? Do we have uniforms? No, but some schools around us do. Where song meets soul, we dance. So sometimes they say the music hits your soul, makes you feel happy. Look at those kids, they look super happy. Where years meet story, we see. What do you think that means? Where years meet story, we see. Do you think they're talking about this woman here? She's been alive for many years, so she can tell a good story. Look at the colors. They've started to change. Where moonlight meets path, 
we walk. Where darkness meets light, we dream, we dream. So boys and girls, did you notice the colors? Let me just flip through really quick. So it looks like it's daytime here. They're going to the market, they're going to the beach, fishing, going up a hill and playing. They might be at school. They're playing again, listening to a story. Now it's nighttime, going home and then dreaming and it's becoming morning. So that was one day. Now it's your turn to write. You are going to be just like Rachel Isadora and you are going to think about your life and you're gonna kind of fill in the blanks here. So where, hmm, meet, hmm, we, hmm. So what do your two things meet and what does it make you do? So I might say, where pillow meet bed, we sleep. Or where laundry meet washer, we launder. Or where pot meet oven, we cook. So think about what you like to do and what it makes you do as an action. Let's look at another one really quick. Where waves meet sand, we swim. Where sea meets sky, we sail. So the pattern is noun, noun, verb. So where noun meets noun, we verb. So what two things and what action? All right, I can't wait to read yours. See you next time.